Think. Make. Break. So, hi guys. Uh, we're going to test out Jeremy's two projects. A uh, DIY metal bending machine and a DIY spot welding machine from an old transformer from a microwave. Are you ready? We're trying to weld. One, two, two. <laughs> So we're going to bend it probably about 90 degrees, then I'll, I'll finish bending it, then I'll weld it on the other side, I don't know, just, just doing something. It's not useful, but just to prove that it actually works. So the, the first part on top here is actually a clamp. You actually clamp your metal down. Hard, hopefully. All right, then you have handles, and well, this piece is actually not perfectly flat, so I don't know exactly how it's going to behave when I try to bend it. It may actually complain, but... Uh, no, so, 90 degrees, and there we go. And success. It's been bent. It's, uh, it's probably better that if you actually try to put it in your own vice, right, and hammer it, right? Because <laughs> you end up with all sorts of like uh, artifact. But this is this is neat enough for me. It's not the cleanest bend, but it's all right. I think I can definitely work with this. I'll finish it, bend it by hand, I think. And uh, we'll see if we can, um, actually, on the other side. We'll see if I can, uh, if we can actually weld two sides of it. So, this is, this is the important part, I think, of uh, this meeting, is that I want people to know that it's actually not impossible. It's actually, nothing's magical. You can, you can make almost anything. You just have to be, have a little bit of time, and uh, be resilient of failures because it, it never works the way you want. <laughs> it never does. Especially for, for things that you, you do the first time and you haven't done. It's, it, it's not gonna work. We'll try to actually uh, weld the end there. So we're doing the first skin welding. <laughs> it's, so the gloss has protects you from the heat and from electricity, sparks and stuff, right? Um, so this is the this is the welder. Is it, is it okay that that is really close to this TV? Look, the danger, well, you know, hopefully it doesn't explode. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of like tested it about a minute ago, so I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Okay. Uh, Good luck, Ray. Right, so uh, just press it briefly, very briefly. Yeah, stop. Yeah, cool. So we know something is moving. Special <laughs> If you need the second one, it's just the only thing. So I'll, I'll actually hold the electrodes, right? Because ultimately there will be two arms doing it, but then I will use my arms for purposes today. And then they need to be applied, you know, quite opposite, the other side, right? And then form will make sense. So the second that I... So can you try now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for longer. Yeah, stop. So, yeah, now I believe we actually have a weld. Um, maybe then we're not actually perfectly aligned, but we probably have a weld. If we don't have a weld, we can apply it for a little bit longer and then, you know, make multiple spots and then you actually get those two pieces that, you know, really attached to each other. Okay. Let's, let's see if it works. Yes. So it, it heats up very, very fast. Try another go at you. Get closer because oh. I can't move the welder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, try. Go. Okay. Go. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, should be good. Hopefully that made a weld. Yeah, yeah. it looks like it's welded. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it's, it, is, it, even, it even smells like milk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You kept your skin. <laughs> I did. Cool, right? uh, an explosion would be cooler. <laughs> but <laughs> so we do have a weld now. Uh, right, cool. I mean, uh, probably not a great weld, but probably can improve the technique. And once the machine is set up properly, and then we can actually put enough pressure when it happens and stuff like this, it, it's actually going to become usable. Like, uh, 90% gone. Like most of my projects, 90% gone. <laughs> Instead of. Uh, 2,000 turns, which changes the, the voltage output. 
uh, and the current output. So less voltage, but more current. And uh, here there's a small power supply that's going to be used to run that fan at the back. So when you turn on the power supply, then it'll have a continuous airflow just to make sure that the uh, transformer is actually being, uh, being cooled down. And, uh, and that's it. And then the output of the secondary goes straight to the electrodes. Uh, electrodes made of copper, uh, which should be able to actually be resist some uh, vertical pressure. So you can actually compress the two electrode make the current pass, and then while it's very hot, under your pressure, the metal should bend a little bit, and then, well, at that point. So, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy. It took me much longer than I thought it would be, but it's actually working. <laughs> and I didn't destroy anything, <laughs> too many things, um, making it happen, so that, that's cool. Um, hopefully, we'll have those two fully operational in the fab lab very, very soon. I still need a little bit of, uh, like this one, for example, I still need to actually cut the wood at the back, right, to make it a bit cleaner. Um, I probably want to put a handle on this to avoid people cutting themselves when they touch it, right? So I just need to find around. Again, with like four designs, uh, plastic shredder, which, uh